Hi there, today we're going to go over Dragoon Controller Guide for Final Fantasy XIV. These are highly personal, but I just have the melees left to do out of all the jobs, which you can check all my others in the controller playlist at the end of this video. Dragoon was a little difficult for me at first, but this setup really works for me personally, so take it with a grain of salt. Dragoon has a really cool loop rotation that I like, and it makes setting this up way easier in my mind. This does use the double cross hotbar for the base rotation, but the GCD is so low on Dragoon, unlike Monk that has a really fast rotation, so for me this totally works. Right trigger one is True Thrust, Vorpal Thrust, Heaven's Thrust, and Disembowel. I'm gonna come back to these. Right trigger one D-pad is most of our weavables other than our jumps, which is Lance Charge, Dragon Sight, Battle Litany, and Life Surge. Dragon Sight, even though a longer cooldown, is here since we have to double weave it in our level 90 opener. But if you're not into maximizing damage or like necessarily caring about that, you can move this to one of the second cross hotbars since it's a longer cooldown. I just know not everyone is interested in maximizing their opener. Right Trigger 2 is the top putter of our full level 90 GCD rotation, which is Chaotic Spring, Fang and Claw, Worm Mind Thrust, and Willing Thrust. I have these GCDs set up as such for a simple fact that it makes the rotation way easier in my eyes for the level 90, but this can also of course be used for lower synced content. Nothing changes other than the access to the abilities. I usually don't go over rotation, but I feel like Dragoon needs a little bit of explanation for this, so we go from True Thrust, Disembowel, Chaotic Spring, Willing Thrust, Fang and Claw, and then back to True Thrust. Now this is technically one side of your rotation. At this part, True Thrust turns into Raid Thrust, which is the beginning of our rotation again. But now since we have our damage buff, we just go the other way, which is True Thrust or Raid Thrust, Vorpal Thrust, Heaven's Thrust, which is just an upgraded full thrust at lower levels, back up to Fang and Claw, over to Willing Thrust, and back down to Raid and Thrust. If you notice, this creates like almost a figure 8 effect when going through your base GCD rotation and this right here helps me keep my GCD timers rolling at all times. The rest of the rotation is just fitting in OGCDs and buffs under certain windows which you'll just have to practice honestly like any other job. I know some of you aren't going to like that it's on a double tap cross hotbar but again it is not a fast paced job so I don't really struggle with having to double tap for the rotation. By the way if you want to learn how to set up a double cross hotbar you can find that again in the controller guides at the end of this video. Okay moving on right trigger 2 d-pad is just job and roll abilities. The left trigger one is like always our AOE GCDs. This is Doom Spike, Sonic Thrust, Corinthian Torment and Gerskogol. I'm not going to pronounce that right. These are just our easy AoE GCDs and we work in Gerskogol into our single target and AoE rotations. Our left trigger d-pad is our job abilities just like all my other jobs which are high jump, mirage dive, spine shatter dive, and dragon fire dive. Recently high jump has been separated from mirage dive for easier weaving so this is why they're right next to each other. The rest again are just weaved into the rotation and you just gotta practice it, which you can find over at the balance discord for the new and updated opener and every patch. Left trigger two letters is True North, Second Wind, and Star Diver. True North does get a lot of use out of me with Dragoon for the position like every other melee job. Second Wind is always here for all of my jobs and Star Diver is here to mimic Skogol on the bottom cross hotbar since you need to have it activated a certain ability tied to it. Left trigger 2 d-pad is just our regular old bloodbath, arms link, and elusive jump as well as limit break. If this was helpful please hit that like button down below as it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and if you want to watch the rest of my job controller setups for all other Final Fantasy 14 jobs then you can click here.